A Nightmare on Elm Street has stalked my memory since the first and only time I watched it when I was 17 years old in 2008. 16 years ago something about the 80s special effects and unsettled in nature made me terrified to revisit it. Even now, long after my desensitization to horror movies, the film is iconic and for good reason. It was released in 84, the apex of the slasher slash horror genre. It also introduces the world to the notorious Freddy Krueger. Whether or not you've seen the movie, you know who Freddy is. The burnt face, striped sweater, and trademark glove line costume store shelves to this day. And filmmaker Wes Craven put himself on the mantle of the horror greats behind the camera. The idea is one of creative genius. A sadistic character like Kruger who terrorizes teens in the dreams. You have to sleep at some point, so the idea that dozing off could be fatal is in itself a nightmare. The acting is subpar but come on, what would you expect? Heather Langenkamp leads the teens as Nancy. Amanda Wiss plays her best friend, Tina. Nick Kerr plays Rod. Johnny Depp, in his big screen debut, plays Glenn. There are several other recognizable faces from the 80s in supporting roles. No one stands out. No one is a total liability either. Robert Inwood would get his Hollywood break in the role of Freddy Krueger. Wes Craven includes a perfect blend of ambience and jump scares that never exceed the limit. There's a haunting score that plays throughout, though at times I wish Craven would have let the scene speak for itself. The highly unsettling atmosphere is what makes this film so chilling. Wes Craven doesn't censor the haunting and grisly images that are on display. An animated body bag dripping blood. A terrifying back to butt counter. A Henry bed. The scenes are truly memorable, and frankly terrifying. The effects are limited because of the time, but it's because of this that they work so much better. I found the scene taking place at Nancy's school to be quite unnerving. What's comical is that Freddy Krueger himself is the least scary part of the story. Acting aside, I could nitpick a few other facets. The backstory for Freddy is delivered in a somewhat contrived way. The rules for the dreams and the deaths seem to change constantly. There are eight sequels. But at 90 minutes, you can't go wrong in sticking with the original. A Nightmare on Elm Street is a classic horror movie that still holds strong today. It's fun, and never takes itself too seriously. And unless you're brave, it's one to watch with the lights on.